Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So today I've got another book review and I picked these two. So I've got Coping and Thriving in Nursing, An Essential Guide to Practice by Peter J. Martin and I have Transitioning to Registered Practice student qualified nurse which is what I need right now because this is exactly what I am I'm transitioning this one's by Chris Thurston and Nick Rycraft amazing so here we go at a first glance I love the covers of these it's again a smooth it's a nice feel to it I love this one more so because of the butterfly and the transition from caterpillar to butterfly I get that vibe from this one the one thing that I really liked about both of these books is that actually they are written by healthcare professionals and not only that but they have got at least one mental health nurse in there as well that's put in their input so there is a very big sort of mental health looking after your well-being your own good Good, positive mental health how to cope in them sort of situations there's that vibe in both of these books and I think that's brilliant because it's something that's definitely definitely needed in the healthcare profession because it's not just a physically demanding job it is emotionally as well so I think those points in the both the books are very very good I'm just going to start off with this book first so this book overall I think it's a nice book however I think this would be better for maybe a first year student nurse who has never worked in healthcare before or has got a little bit of experience in healthcare maybe and then they've just come into nursing because there's a lot in here that I've been taught through my degree and because I've had that healthcare experience before I had about 11 years so I've gathered all of the knowledge that's in this book so there was nothing really new in this book that I I've read so the sections of this book are stress of it all, environment and people, embracing change, a continuing process, nursing, a profession with too many masters, um, reconnecting with your nursing values, nursing and mindfulness. I love that mindfulness is in there because we really need that. Thinking, learning and working under fire, self-compassion, collaborative working, mental park hour, freeing the mind. Again, I love that. Um, how your past influences your present, the unconscious at work, and a conclusion, going green, a toolkit to support sustainable practice. So really, really good sections, really useful, I think, to have in this first book. There's a lot about change, how to survive change. There's a lot of reflections. They talk about self-compassion, shared decision making between families and colleagues and things like that. And just basically about being resilient, compassionate as a nurse as well, how to communicate and leadership, how to sort of lead the way and cope and thrive as a nurse. But just for me personally, this isn't for everyone, but just for me personally, I haven't really learned much new from this book. It's all things that I kind of already knew and that I'm really, really aware of already. But this, I think, would be a really good book for many first years or anybody that hasn't really worked in healthcare before. It is very, very wordy as well. That was the other thing. It was quite wordy and long-winded to read. Whereas I, I like little guides. I prefer a guide than a book. But that's, again, that's just me, my own personal preference. I'm not a big reader. So if you love your reading, you love your books, you might actually really enjoy this one. Overall, it was a good book. I can't say it was a bad book. It was a very good book, really well written. Loads of different things in there that I really liked, like the self-compassion and self-criticism stages that we all have and how to sort of overcome those is really, really good. And the case studies as well. It's got case studies of patients in here, which I really, really like. And some little diagrams. I love little diagrams. So yeah, so those are the pros and cons of this book to start with. So moving on to my second book, which is this one, Transitioning to Register Practice, which is the one I was really, really keen for. So this has got three parts to it. The beginning of the process. So it's got the reality of transitioning from student to qualified nurse, preparing for your first job. I need that. Becoming a qualified nurse. I need that. Preceptorship and supervision. I will need that. And then part two, during the tr transition process, you've got ethical and legal aspects of care, responsibilities regarding the fitness of practice, decision making and clinical governments. Part three is continuous professional development. So CPD and revalidation. Re so then number nine is leadership and management and then conclusion, resilience and compassion in qualified practice. So overall, really good sections to this book, I think. 
So this book's been quite good. The, the start of it is all about um, transitioning and it talks about age factors, sexuality, personal life, psychological, things like that. And it goes into job searching, like I said, was the one I wanted. And it talks a lot about the job specification, the essential and desirable characteristics that you want to cover those in applying for the job, researching into the job. It talks a little bit about CV. And then it goes into the interview stuff, having a look at competency tasks, scenario based questions, written tests, if you get have a written test, presentations, if you have a presentation and the use of different test centres and online tests, because some jobs have that as well. And it's just just a bit more about thinking about going into your interview and being prepared for that interview, which has been really, really good. There is also a section about the new practice supervisor, practice assessor, academic assessor and the practice learning coordinator, which is really good as well for those of you that are interested a bit more about that. There's a lot about asking feedback as well from people and colleagues. There talks a bit about mental capacity as well and consent and being more mindful about that. Delegation, about personal development and portfolio as well. So revalidation again. And then there's the resilience, resilience and compassion bit at the back, just talking about being more resilient and being emotionally aware as well of your own self. So all in all, I think this book's really, really good. But again... Everything that's in there, I kind of already knew. It was stuff that I'd already researched into and looked into. It's stuff I've known from previous jobs, working in healthcare again. But for people that maybe haven't, again, worked in healthcare, they don't know about the process and apl applying for jobs and things like that, this would be really, really good for you. Really good book to have a look at as well. So overall, I think these are really, really good books for other people. But just for me personally, I don't feel, and I feel awful for saying that, I'm so sorry. I feel just for me personally, because I've got some knowledge and stuff from job applications and things already I kind of I don't feel like I've picked up much new because I am very self-aware I'm self-conscious I'm very stable I'm clued up on things there are good reads very good reads and they'll be perfect for other student nurses I think out there but just for me personally I'm sorry I I didn't really get much from these books so what I would like to do, I'm going to give a giveaway. So if you think <laughs> these books are for you, <laughs> I feel awful. Here's me. These aren't for me. Have them. Um, that's really bad. I'm so sorry. I feel ashamed of myself. But I'm going to give them away because they're going to just sit on my shelf and I feel really, really bad. This will be perfect for a first year new student if um you're interested this if you're coming up to qualification and you have no idea about applying for jobs interviews cpd revalidation any of that this one's a good one for you so please i'll give one to someone another one to someone one two people in total do you get what i'm trying to say i'm sorry i'm not with it now i've made a show of myself um so yeah so thank you to the authors of these books thank you to sage publishing as well for giving me the chance to review these books this was a really really amazing opportunity to do this they have also been very very kind and they are giving me 25 percent off of their books for my viewers which is amazing i'm going to leave the details below so have a look at the details below this video and you'll see a code to use if you're interested in any books at all on the sage publishing have a look and use the code get your discount with students come on I'm not a student anymore, sorry. We're all students, come on. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna give away these. Um, what to do, if you want this book, just comment below, yes, something, anything. Yes, please, give me a book. Claire, pick me, I don't know, whatever you wanna comment. Comment below just to let me know that you want one of these books and I will do what I did, have done on my previous giveaways and I will put it into a hat and just pick a name out and make it really fair. And yes, I will send you this book. Huge thank you to you all for watching this vlog and getting to the end without nodding off. Maybe some of you did. I'm really sorry if you aren't listening to this message, but a huge thank you to you. I shall see you next time. Bye, everyone.